Good day everyone, this is Alvin again from the Philippines and today we are going to talk about my overall pre-arrival ranking for the Americas. So this is the part the part two of my pre-arrival leaderboard and the part three will be the Asia Pacific and Africa which hopefully I can upload tomorrow. And there are 31 ladies that are confirmed to battle it out for the top five for the Americas and here are the top 31. We have to make it fast because there's a lot to talk about so let's begin. My number 31 is the British Virgin Islands. Bria Smith. I don't really see a very high chance for her in getting a placement. However, I am impressed at her charity works, so I still commend her for that. My number 30 is Saint Lucia, Bibiana Mangal. We are not getting much updates about her, and with how competitive the Americas is, I think it would be a challenge for her to crack into the semis. My number 29 is Nicaragua, Inez Lopez Sevilla. She is a beautiful woman, but I am not feeling any spark from her. My number 28 is Honduras, Rosemary Araujo. She is a good looking representative from Honduras, although I don't really see her as someone who could steer the whole competition and make some changes, but let's see during arrival if she have something to offer. My number 27 is Curaçao, Kirsha Ataf. Curaçao looks stunning during her national performance. I don't really see her doing well to be honest, but I will not be surprised if they will pull another surprising placement. She's very active in her social works, she is transformable, and she has potentials. My number 26 is the Cayman Islands, Kadeja Bowden. Kadeja is in the field of biochemistry, Plus, she's also very active in the protection of the environment. Her profile is very imp impressive and I think she's a smart woman too. But for now, I am still unsure if she will be good enough to qualify. My number 25 is Barbados, Chanel Eiffel. I have to commend Barbados because they have been sending stunning representatives representatives recently i think she's a beautiful woman with amazing figure but i wanted to see something more that is img type i mean i want to see her advocacy or charity works and something that will make her a stand out aside from her beauty so hoping to see those during arrivals my number 24 is Ecuador. Cristina Hidalgo. I commend Ecuador for transforming her beautifully, but I still don't see her as someone who can scramble this group for a placement. My number 23, Jamaica. Yana Tickle Garcia. I think Jamaica looked beautiful, but I want to see consistency in her looks, especially when it comes to candids and professional shots. Although I love her personality, I am not feeling much from Jamaica yet, so let's see how she does in Atlanta. My number 22, Paraguay, Kathleen Lotterman. Kathleen is very beautiful. She's got one of the best sets of photos and love that she uploaded a question and answer video in her Instagram account for us to get to know more about her. I don't see her as one of the top contenders yet, but I would like to see her show, her show it in the competition. My number 21, Uruguay, Fiona Tenuta. I am so amazed at how Fiona was transformed for the Miss Universe pageant. Her transformation is outstanding and you have to commend Osmel as well because he still have his touch on beauty queens. I don't see her as an automatic placer yet. I am glad that she's coming strongly and it's just nice to see strong representative from Uruguay. My number 20, Bolivia, Fabiana Hurtado. I like Bolivia this year because she's giving me Miss Universe Bolivia 2006 Desiree Duran vibe who finished in the top 10. She looked great with her long hair, long straight hair and she was very energetic during her national pageant. I wanted to see her give us some more wow moments. My number 19 is Costa Rica, Paola Chacon. I am not really a huge fan of Costa Rica but she is one of the ladies that you might actually consider as someone who can pull a surprise placement. Costa Rica is known to send candidates with great figure and she is one of them. My number 18, El Salvador. Zuleika Soler. Zuleika is one of the prettiest faces in this group. She has improved a lot since her coronation but there are moments where her styling is a little bit too much for her beauty. 
Her beauty lies in simplicity. So I hope to see her with less and lighter makeup in the competition. May number 17, Aruba. Donna Garcia. My concern for Donna is probably the same as El Salvador. I was wowed by her national pageant, but sadly, as time goes by, I think she is being over-manufactured and her styling is a little bit too much. I wish they'll stick to her simple yet captivating styling. Aruba has potentials to do very well this year, so hopefully they'll use that potentials to advance in this competition. My number 16, Bahamas. Tareas Terrap. I have her as one of my sentimental favorites. I like her aura, I like her beauty, I love her fierceness, but my feeling is strong that she might be ignored this year, which I am still hoping that it won't happen. Bahamas has no placement yet in Miss Universe. It would be great to see her as the first ever placer from her country. Let's now enter my top 15 with number 15, Belize. Destiny Arnold, I think it is very safe to say that Destiny Arnold is the best representative to wear Belize's sash in Miss Universe. She's a smart woman. She was so good during her national pageant in both evening gown and swimsuit, although I am not a huge fan of the gown. She is a hardworking representative, and if you follow her on social media, she is really working so hard for this pageant. For now, it seems like a top five for the Americas seems like a difficult achievement to achieve with all the other strong contenders, but... Well, anything is possible. My number 14, Canada. Alisa Boston. It's hard to say how strong Alisa is going to be. All I know is that she is stunning. She's a pageant veteran and she knows how to do her thing on stage. She's also a mental health educator. And with how strong the Americas is coming to this competition, she can possibly do it. But for now, I don't see her as my top five for this region. My number 13 is the US Virgin Islands, Andrea Paikush. Andrea is amazing. Not only that she is a stunning woman with amazing figure, but her personality is also one of the things that I love about her. She's undoubtedly the best representative in Miss Universe wearing the US Virgin Islands sash. It would be nice to see her get that placement. My number 12 is Haiti, Gabriela Vallejo, another contender whom I think could pull a surprise placement. With IMG, most of the candidates that placed are those ladies with amazing personalities, and with Gabriella, she might actually fit into that category. She is rocking those huge afro hair, she is stunning, her personality is amazing, and her smile radiates so much energy. I think I would be very happy if she will make it. My number 11 is Venezuela, Talia Ovino. Of course, Venezuela is Venezuela and she is coming to the competition very prepared and equipped with a very strong performance. However, with the quality of contenders from her region, she really needs to work extra hard because she cannot rely on Sash alone. May number 10, Panama. Mir Elizir. The thing with Panama this year is that she came as a surprise winner during her national pageant, but she has transformed and proved to us why she deserved to win the title. She's very beautiful with a Miss Universe kind of smile. She's active in charity works and she speaks very well. My only concern about Panama probably is that she's the kind of contender that would make you happy if she makes it, but you wouldn't mind if she doesn't. My number nine is United States, Chesley Crist. There's no doubt that USA will make it. Chesley is an intelligent woman. She's got a great body. She's got a strong profile. And she has the same vibe as the previous Miss USAs like Kara and Deshauna, who are both outstanding profile-wise. And having said that, I see her placing. But for now, I don't really see her going as far as top five in the finals. I mean, number eight is the Dominican Republic, Clauvi Daly. She's such an amazing representative, and I believe it's time for the Dominican Republic to come back in the finals. She's got an amazing figure, beautiful face, and, in, and she is also studying to become a pilot, which is great. However, 
we have Belgium, who is already a pilot, so I am not sure if that will work against her. My number seven is Peru, Kelly Rivera. She is one of the candidates this year that is giving us that Miss Universe vibe, especially if we look at her national pageant performance. She looked really stunning. She has the experience to back her up. She was well styled during the national pageant. And if she can nail the interviews, then expect her to finish very high. I mean, number six is Argentina, Mariana Varela. I feel confident in saying that if one of the Osmel girls will get a placement, it's undoubtedly Argentina. She is not only stunning during her national pageant, but she has continued to create an impressive impression with her tremendous transformation. So hoping to see her slay the competition. Now, we're in the top five with my number five, Chile, Geraldine Gonzalez. Like, I'm really loving Geraldine very much. It, have, it has been a very long time since Chile's last placement. And I would be very disappointed if she will not be given a placement this year. She is giving us that doll vibe with her beautiful face, extremely beautiful figure, and great profile, of course, and a Miss Universe aura. My number four, Mexico. Sofia Aragon. I always knew that Mexico is a strong contender. She's one of the ladies that we can consider as a performer on stage. And before, I felt like I am not feeling her that much. But now that we are getting close to the competition, I have the winds of change passing by me because I can actually see Mexico doing very, very well. She's looking beautiful and prepared than ever. It is possible that Mexico might have a Miss Universe in her. My number three, Brazil. Julia Horta. Brazil would be another great contender for Miss Universe. She looked very different from the previous Miss Brazils that we have in the pageant. She looked really stunning. She's got a great personality and her smile is just one of her best assets. Aside from that, she is Brazil. So she will definitely come to the competition prepared. And IMG loved Brazil. They always place since IMG took over. But as what I have said before, this is definitely, I mean, I'm very positive that Julia will be able to pull Brazil's highest placement under IMG. Now, my number two, Colombia, Gabriela Tafur. Some may ignore her, but I am a believer that this year, Gabriela is coming with a huge wave. They did not place last year, but we know the reason why it happened. For Gabriela, she is prepared and she is making sure that she will bring back Colombia in the finals. She is stunning, she's intelligent, she's a lawyer with a strong track record, and she's very active in social works. I see her as a possible top 10 finalist and can even go as high as top 5. And my number one and my flag bearer for the Americas is Puerto Rico, Madison Anderson. I still believe Madison is the complete package and the perfect representation of the Americas and the universe. She has a personality that adapts to every people she meets. She has the personality of a Miss Universe. From beauty to experience to performance, charity and social works, everything about her just screams Miss Universe. And I am super, super excited to see how she performs. So that's it. These are my top... 31 pre-arrival overall ranking for the Americas. What do you think? Don't forget to leave your comments below. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and share the video as well. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because you'll be seeing more of these videos in the future. So for now, thank you very much and have a wonderful day from the Philippines.